Hey yo, what's good man? It's your boy Telling. Y'all are back with another episode of Televisions, man. Today we're gonna go through something that I've been waiting to talk to y'all about. Something new, man, that I've tried, man. It's this new film stock that's been out, bro. Lomo 800, man. I've been waiting to get my hands on this, so I ended up going to one of the local film stores out here at Atlanta Bellows Film Lab. And that's the only space that I've seen out here that carries it. So went there, they was charging for like, <laughs> Like $18, you know, so they really bust my head for real, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I've really been looking to get into this film just because how rich the colors is. And yeah, man, I, I just can't wait till y'all see these photos. If you are new, man, welcome. My name is Tell. Make sure you subscribe for more content, man. And also to like, comment below. Let me know what you like and what would you like to see as well in the future. So, man, without further ado, if you already here, man, and been here, welcome back. Let's get straight to it. One of my good homies, man, Trent, like, I had met him not too long ago, and we worked on one project together as well. He worked as an extra. He's one of the most down to earth, like, he has one of the best spirits I ever met, man. Beautiful soul, man. So, seeing him, and like, he just has this cool look, man. Like, he always, he definitely has this unique, distinct look. So, I hit him up, and I was like, yo, I definitely wanna get you in the shoot because I'm working on this photo book this year. After I hit him, I already bought this film because as soon as I seen it, when I went to that film store, I had grabbed it because I was like, yo, I don't know when I'm gonna see this again. So, I just gone ahead and grabbed it and threw it in my fridge and just kept it there until I actually wanted to use it. I really love this film stock just because it's bold colors, man, and really the nice amount of grain that it gave me. So, for the look that I was going for, I was needing that richness, right? So. That's what helped me even figure out what I want to do with the whole entire set. So with that being said, I wanted to do with some color blocking on one of the looks. So I started off with this green backdrop. I wanted like this olive on the backdrop and then I wanted to put like this red, red, orangish on the ground. We did two different looks, right? So we started off with this and I wanted to capture, uh, I like doing it in sequences. So I like to do like a full body, then I do a medium and then I kind of come in a little tighter. So I did those same things, but with different instruments. I brought in a stool and then I just had him sitting on the couch at one point. Kind of just using different elements. Uh, really just a lot of the inspo was derived from my mood board. And you can check that out right here. So one of my favorite things about this shoe is his hair, man. Like his hair is like this treat. And that's kind of what I wanted to embody as well. Um, and he, was, he told me his story about how he even ended up getting his locks. It's like, it, it just kind of happened and then he just kind of went with it. I enjoyed every single piece of this shoot, man. So even for the next look, right, we went for this white backdrop. I was looking for something a little bit more um, like radiant, um, something to give more like this. And that feels like very free and like dreamy-ish. So I actually ended up getting some B-flats and putting the uh, strobes inside the B-flats on the white side and had them shooting directly at the backdrop. So this effect really uh, allowed me to really bloom those highlights where I wanted to. So really when it came to the editing process, when it came to him like hugging this box, you know, it really kind of helped blend the box into the background. It was actually pretty dope and easy. So I really liked how that came out and you guys can check that out over here. After I had finished editing these, I found one of my favorite photos. The interesting thing about this photo specifically is it was actually a little blurry and it was my favorite shot out of the whole deck. Like here is the raw right here. This is straight out the film camera right here. And this is what I came up with.
Lastly, I'd like to give a big shout out to Lamography for even highlighting me with these photos in their film stock. I really, really enjoyed it, man, and I'm definitely gonna be using Lamography more in my future, and I can't wait to see some of the new film stocks that come out in the future and just get to play with some medium format in that realm. So, thank you, thank you. If you have made it to the end of this video, man, I appreciate you so much. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe. I'd like to see you come back so you could come back and learn some more dope stuff and also be along with me on my creative journey. And lastly, man, don't forget to keep shooting. Love, peace.